Welcome to the Port City, Mobile, Alabama, home to the South Alabama Jaguars at Hancock-Whitney Stadium, and we have been fired up about this match all week. Today, a showdown of a couple of foes from the Sun Belt. As we'll see, the Georgia Southern Eagles taking on the South Alabama Jaguars. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Jaguars will boot it away to start the game. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So Georgia Southern's offense will get the first swing of the game. And this guy is a big-time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse, too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. Makes a catch and knockdown. This slot receiver is a guy the defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes. He's got some speed. And if you're not careful, this guy can gash you. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Back to pass. It's French. Quickly complete. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a pirouette. It was elegant. It was beautiful. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Touch pass on the run. Across the 45. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. Caught in the backfield, it's Burgess. Picked up some yardage on the ground, now here comes second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his man. It's White. The ball pops out. Oh, the offensive first. Absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Throws to the wideout. Can anyone catch him? They bring him down, but he's got a first and goal from the 10. Well, this guy obviously spent a lot of time in the film room this week because he is dissecting this defense early in the game in the opening drive. Great job with his eyes, great job with his rhythm, an explosive play there. This defense does not have an answer for this dude. Georgia Southern will have it now, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Off the play fake. Feeling some heat. Pass rush. Gets there. Gets home. Gets him down at the 23. Yeah, and this part of the field, man, those windows shrink. And it's hard as a quarterback sometimes to really 
force yourself to throw the football. You're sitting in a good spot in second and goal. Just throw that thing away. Don't take the sack and put you in a bad situation. Third and goal from way back there. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. Didn't put much on that one, and it's incomplete. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved. But still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. So the South Alabama Jaguars offense will go to work for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Lopez to pass. It's complete to the left. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage, but you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. On second down, he'll let it fly. Unloads to the wideout. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? I think the wide receiver needs to do a better job making it look like he's going deep. He never got the cornerback that time to turn his hips, and because of it, he couldn't separate, and the ball got swatted away incomplete. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. From the gun, wants to pass. Dances away from the heat. At the 35, he's loose. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't sack him right away, you allow him to get outside the pocket, he is going to take off. And he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back like ability out in space. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Makes the grab. It's Webb. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Second down coming up. and throws off the RPO. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. 
These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Off the play fake on first down. Buys a little extra time. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And a nice pickup on the run and gets down to avoid contact. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. The Jaguars want to crank the tempo. Now from inside the red zone. Got it! And he will score! Touchdown, South Alabama! The big tight end, always able to make the defense pay. And tight ends have evolved so much in football. Man, these guys are like wide receivers now, and you see why. Got the athletic ability, the big bodies, they throw to them, and they'll make big plays for them. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. An 84-yard drive there, and they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Looks like he's going to try to return it. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. He wants to take the top off. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. Hand off from the shotgun. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He'll do it himself. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. As an offense, you're okay with that. You're going to run option plays, and sometimes you're going to bust it big, but sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. Looking for a man. It's French. He's got his man. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. The Eagles will hustle to the line. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. And perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. Second down after that incompletion. Gives it to the back on the draw. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, 
but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They go to the draw. Just making a play, getting it to the 23-yard line. It'll be first down. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Burgess. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle, and as a result, new set of downs. Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. Back to throw, it's French. Getting some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. A lot of times you can tell by the pass set. That tackle gets really, really quick. You can tell that ball's going to come out quick. Great job by the defensive end. Seeing the ball come out quick. Getting his hands in the air and deflecting the football. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's got it on the run. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. My man, get him the ball. He will do the rest. Catches the football, walks into the end zone. Feed that man the rock. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10 to 7. So an 82-yard drive there. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. They'll go to the ground. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Lofts one high and deep. And it slips through his fingers, incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have held on. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. The Jaguars will punt it away on fourth down. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. 
Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. And the Eagles moving quickly to the line. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Good spot after that seven yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the run, it's White. That ought to be enough to move the chains and give Georgia Southern a first down. Yeah, and it's so nice. Don't overthink it, right? Just hand it off, get the first down, new set of downs, let's go. The Eagles come to the line with a new set of downs. Dropping back, it's French. Quick completion on the out route. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field? You got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. From the 14 yard line, it's first and 10. They go to the ground. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. To the ground with the back. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Guys, we've reached the end of the quarter. Georgia Southern has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. They've switched ends of the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Georgia Southern will have it now, first and goal. Slams it ahead. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So on offense, you've got to find a way to put six up on the board. You know that in this game, field goals may not get it done. So big-time players make big plays in big games. Who can you rely on right now to get you a touchdown? Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Working that left side now. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You got to get him involved. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in with the running game on third down? Let's it go to the end zone. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. And you'll have to be precise from the left hash in this short angle. That is no good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. And that's just a chip shot. That's just a field goal they got to make, guys. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels.
and the Jaguars racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the big hit. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You can get the ball out, but when things break down and they get off schedule, you've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. He did exactly that. This offense has a second down play. They'll leave it with him. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set is able to rip off that one for a first down. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He wants to throw. They're setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Great job, too, by the QB there. Holding the ball as long as possible, allowing the pass rush to get upfield, and at the very last second, getting it to his guide so that he can go get the first down. The Jaguars will snap it on first and 10. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. The quarterback and the offensive line really do a good job. What do they do? They sell pass first. Everything looks like pass. Nope, they hit you with a run. Really great job working together with a little bit of misdirection. It's first down from the 11. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And he'll sail it way too far for everybody. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Lopez wants to fire. He's got it! That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to seal the edge on the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, you're in the red zone. You bring out a bunch of tight ends on the field. So the defense, they were expecting run on that one. They were physical, and they were able to force the negative play. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. A really short kick, but you've got to have that angle just right. Absolutely perfect. And guys, that three ball has us all tied up here in the second. He's set to kick it away. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. The run from the shotgun. At the 35, he's open. All the way out to the 38-yard line. It's a gain of 15. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point. But finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back, and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line but when you can have balance now the defense doesn't know what's coming they need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense they finally get him on the ground but the big running play moves the change for the first down 
And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. He's going to pass. Fires to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies, and there was a lot of early contact there. You want your defenders to be physical in pass coverage, but they can't be overly aggressive. They can't grab and hold. That's an obvious P.I. call. Now they'll run the draw. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Offensive linemen love when you sneak in draws, when you sneak in screens. It holds these defensive linemen accountable. You want to rush the quarterback? You want to fly on the field every single play? We'll sneak right behind you and get some yardage. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Looking for room. It's White. Stop is made almost immediately. Give him one to the 23. You know they'd love to convert this third down after missing a field goal on the last drive. Looking for a man. It's French. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Eagles! Defense has got to do a better job of crowning this wide receiver. They've got to know where he lines up each and every play. And then once he has the ball, they have to play with a sense of urgency and get hats to the football. He's just way too dangerous in the open field. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. First snap of this drive will come from inside the 15 at their own 14-yard line. Keeping his eyes downfield, rolling left. And he gets out of there and gets some yardage and gets down without taking any punishment. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's brought down after the spin move for a short game. They go with the option, quarterback keeps it himself, and look, we've seen this guy on tape, guys, break these tackles and take it the distance. This offense should keep dialing up these option plays. Don't let that short gain by the QB prevent you from running this scheme in your playbook. Lopez to pass. He's got his man, and the runner is down, and so is the flag. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Wide receiver shows motion. Using his legs, it's Bullock. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. 
pocket starts to collapse. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. The Jaguars will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Georgia Southern in a hurry. On second down, just keeps firing. Grabbed over the middle. It's Johnson. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding his open guy. Dropping back, it's French. They're bringing heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. Oh, it's a missed opportunity. You know the quarterback was excited. He saw a man coverage. He thought he was going to have an opportunity to come up with a big play, but up front, they could not protect him well enough. First down sack, pushes it back. Now it's second down. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. Maybe that stop is a good sign for this defense. Maybe the defense is starting to figure it out. Obviously, offense has been running the football with so much success. Something has to change. That was a good start. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. Coming after him. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And the defense pays that blitz off with just what you want, putting the O in third and long. And a lot of people get conservative on third and long and drop a lot of people. I like bringing pressure. Tell the QB, you better get the ball out of your hand fast because we're coming for you. They blitz gets home. Nice job by the defense being aggressive on third and long. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Looks it all the way in and now turns his attention upfield. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Wants to throw on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Bullock. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. You know, sometimes even a short game like that can be used to set up something bigger later on. No doubt, Reese, they can pump that and take a shot down the field. And don't worry, they're going to go back to that same play because they know this guy with the ball in his hands is dangerous. He makes one guy miss, he can take it to the house. Lopez wants to fire. They were trying to set up the screen and they almost threw the thing away. They're lucky it's third down. Yeah, nice coverage, and you'd like to snag that interception, but there's always a reason why these thoroughbred athletes play defense. And it's usually because of their lack of hands, like you just saw. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Makes the pass. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, it is such a weapon to have running backs that can not only run the football, but can catch it as well. And a nice job there, David, finding the matchup one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker, a little angle route to get the first down. Yeah, and those angle routes are hard to defend because the running back looks like he's going out first. So when I'm a linebacker, I'm like, oh, crap, I got to catch him. And then he breaks in really quickly in a nice throw to throw it in front of him and get the first down. 
Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. They're working that left side. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. And the Jaguars headed quickly to the line. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Using his legs, it's Bullock. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Lopez to pass. Pressure coming. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Already proven reliable. Once he'll try a second field goal, this one a 37-yarder. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. Georgia Southern has it back and here comes the offense again. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Catch in the middle, it's Cobb. Here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Going for the big play. He's got it downfield for a huge game. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. This attack so lethal with that big play capability. Now first and 10 from the 29. Unloads to the wideout. What a snag by the defense. Made the play on the pick, was hoping to make one on the return. He'll have to settle for letting the offense pay it off from the 26. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board. You still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open. And if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now, they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Ripped off a chunk on the opening play of this drive. Now it's first down from the 48. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his target down the middle. 
They stop him at the 42, but they get it across midfield. Pick up 10 and the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Lopez wants to fire. A shot for the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air. And offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't picked. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man in the middle. And an absolutely fearless tackle. Giving up size, still got him on the turf. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find a rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. Coverage team dare to make the stop. They avoid disaster, and that's the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, it is tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Mobile. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's head back inside Hancock-Whitney Stadium. Second half all teed up, and Georgia Southern will start it with the kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. They'll keep it on the ground to start the second half. Getting that push, a pickup of four out to the 26. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Movement here from the tight end. The play action fake. Buying some time. Trying to escape and get it himself. Short gain on the play before he slides. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. Lopez to pass. Fires to the big fella. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down.
The Jaguars come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. I'll tell you what, that read game really slows you down defensively, kind of makes you play responsibility football. And when you get chunks like that on first down as an offense, I would continue to come back to it. Now on second and short after that pickup. Trying play action. Finds his tight end. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends, is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. Knocked down at the 24-yard line, but it's a big game. 15 yards on the play, and this offense is in business. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. Used to play fake, now to throw. Fires on the move. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. What a play by the defender there, guys, in his own end zone. The offense has taken a shot, and if that defender was just one step behind, that would have been a touchdown. But the hit forces the incompletion. Couldn't connect on first down. Now second and 10 from the 24. Off play action. Caught in the backfield. It's Bullock. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. And a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get him to the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. And they can't make the connection on third down. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. And now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. So here comes the field goal unit again. This kicker has already made three in this one. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And with that, they've taken the lead. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Off play action on first down. Wide open downfield. There he goes to the right. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Yeah, and listen, QB's got to find ways to push the ball down the field and make sure defenses don't just sit in zones and stay shallow. Nice job by the QB. Push it down the field. Make some big plays, baby. And the Eagles want to move quickly. Going up top on first down. Trying to get to it. He makes a grab. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And the defense decides to bring the blitz, and no problem for the offense. No panic whatsoever. They understood it. They saw what was coming. Still were able to function and not even worry about it or get sped up by the blitz. The Eagles have it with a first and goal. To the air, it's French. Got his man on the right. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. 
That's his third touchdown pass of the day. The defense has no clue how to respond right now. No, and the defense has had absolutely no answer. He's been on the money. He's been on fire, making the right decisions and just carving this defense up. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it off with a little gadget play to get into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. It doesn't matter who it is. Receivers, and in this case, a tight end. You get open. You sometimes start to look at that green space in front of you, and you just take your eye off the football, lose your concentration a little bit, and miss that opportunity for possibly a big play. And back to the air on second down. Finds his man down the middle. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. This offense is starting to believe, and as they generate yards and points, they're bringing momentum with them. Fires to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. There's not a lot more beautiful in football than the play action and the open tight end. Yeah, because it freezes those linebackers. It freezes those safeties because they have to come up for a second and play the run. And then the big tight ends, big targets on the back end can catch the football and make big plays. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Lopez wants to fire. And the pass hits. Picked off. Got room on the return. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Well, the offense turns it over. And talking to their coaching staff before this game, they talked about how important it was to have good ball security and not give the opponent extra possessions. That time, poor decision by the quarterback, and the defense made them pay. And how about this? You get to start a drive with a first and goal. Takes a snap, wants to throw. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Eagles! The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And after the extra point, they're on top by 12. That's taking advantage of a golden opportunity set up with great field position, and they struck quickly for the touchdown. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Bringing it back. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. The Jaguars offense ready to go back to work. 
Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive, David. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. They'll line up for a second down play. He'll keep it himself. Got enough for the first. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And this defense knew coming into the game with this quarterback's speed, David, they were going to have to be ready for him to tuck the ball and take off running. But it doesn't matter. You know it, but he's so fast. He just, you don't know about the angles, and you can't tell how fast till you get in the game. And he just takes off and, and makes big plays with his feet. Hand off from the gun. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He'll pull it on the read. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Anytime you play this offense, the challenge is stopping this quarterback from running the ball. And you've already seen in this game, he's been able to break off a few runs and do some nice things. That time, though, the defense had his number and tackled him for a loss. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking to buy time. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. Yeah, and the QB decided to take it himself. He got a little bit of pressure, you could see, and decided to take off, scramble, and couldn't get the first down. And now it's fourth down decision time. No matter where it is on the field or what the distance is, you know there's a chance. We still might go for it. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. With the catch, it's White. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Wants to throw. It's French. Quickly to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. You got your big fella just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to get the first through the air. Throws to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Burgess. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. I mean, this offense basically lined up and said, I, I don't care if you double-team him, triple-team him. It really doesn't matter. We're still going to feature him. And guess what happens? They still get the first down, even though he was double-teamed. Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. On the move, it's White. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. Complete to the left. Just what they were looking for, and he's got him set up in business at the 35 with a first down. And they're featuring this guy all day long. Now he's over 150 yards. Great job by the offense. This is a matchup. I'm going to take advantage. He's taking advantage of it all game long. 
Georgia Southern really efficient on offense. The give out of the gun. He had to fight for a couple down to the 33. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. To the air. It's French. Gets it out quickly. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Georgia Southern in a hurry. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Eagles! And this is why you consistently run the football. A steady diet because you can break the long touchdown runs. Nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage, outrunning the rest, getting in for the long touchdown run. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good. The lead is 19. They put together an 81-yard drive, and the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone. It's Samuel. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Guys, we'll have another look at this South Alabama offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. After getting nothing done on the last one, this is a big play, second and long from the 11. They'll run play action. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. That's a good decision by the quarterback. I know that's not going to come up on the stat sheet, but you're in the pocket, nobody's open. Don't risk turning it over, just throw it away. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. He's looking downfield to throw. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Got his man. They are on the move down to the 32, and they pick up another first down. Get you some of that. And with that completion, now he's over 400 yards on the day. That's a really, really good game for this quarterback. He's been almost flawless. They're down to the 32-yard line on first and 10. Back to throw. It's French. Fires to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. 
I don't think he was the primary receiver on that play, David, but a very productive pickup on first down. And these tight ends are so good at understanding zones and where to sit down. And, and listen, it's not the huge game down the field, but it's always death by a thousand cuts, small gains, break tackles, and continue to move the sticks. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. No doubt, offense wants to keep running the football to win this game, but I'm wondering if they're starting to go to the well too often. they got to start showing some new wrinkles here in the second half. Ball's at the 26. It's third and short, and they'd love to pick up the first down and avoid settling for the field goal. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got the tight end. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. And the Eagles have this offense rolling. They'll get it down to the eight yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. This guy is doing work on the outside and the sweet toe tap to stay in bounds there. How about the sweet feet? I mean, it's so hard to know where you're at on the sidelines and have good body control. You could tell he did. Gets the feet down, secures the catch. That is a nice catch. Nice footwork, young fella. Let's it fly. Throw to the end zone, picked off. It's so nice to see defenders squeeze that pigskin. A lot of times, in great position, you see him there to make the play. But there's a reason they play defense. Not this time. Great job securing the interception. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. Looking to go up top on first down. He's going to fire deep. He's got it down the right side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. They'll start the drive here with first down to open this period. Lopez to pass. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man down the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. The defense has their hands full of trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. The Jaguars will snap it on first and ten. Quick completion to the right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. They've done a really good job creating the matchups they want out of the spot. Yeah, dude, get that guy matched up on a linebacker. That guy matched up on a safety. Keep him away from the corners by putting him in the slot. Get him the football. Let him make plays. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He's looking for a man on second down. Fires and picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you've got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. 
Keep it on the ground. Determined run, but he stopped after two yards down at the 13. Now facing a third and long. Now the play fake. Right down the middle. Complete downfield. Finding open areas. Nothing but green ahead. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. Well, it really just feels like they are trying to make a statement to everybody in college football. They've got a lead, they've got it late, and they are still putting it on this defense. They are still letting it fly. They're airing it out, trying to light up the scoreboard. And guys, the defense's head might be spinning a little bit after giving up that huge gain on the first play. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Eagles! And the route is on. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. The kickoff team out there getting set. And here's the return. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. South Alabama has it back. The Jaguar offense going to work. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. For this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here lead your offense. And move on. Like, we needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drive going. Now on first and 10 from the 26. Lopez wants to fire. It's complete. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. I tell you, this slot receiver, he really does give his quarterback a nice option runs really good routes. He's got nice hands, and you saw it on that last play. They've come out with answers on this possession, and now another first down. He's looking to throw it. Got his man in the middle. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Makes his connection. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And if you had any questions about this quarterback's arm talent, now you've got your answer. Wow. And the Jaguars have it with a first and ten. He wants to throw. Caught. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger game. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Looking to throw it again. Trying to make magic with his feet. 
Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't, and he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. He wants it all. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Looking to scramble. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. Hey, it's a heads-up play right there. Listen, you're trying to scramble. You're trying to make something happen. Nobody's open. You're not going to be able to get out of bounds. Just protect yourself. Get down on the ground. Get what you can get and live to play another day. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Quarterback run is part of their game plan. Gets behind those pads, picks up four on the play, but it's still a fourth down and three. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. Well, I don't think the defense was expecting run on that last fourth and two play. Good job by the offense keeping them off balance with that play call. The Jaguars line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Jaguars! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Lining up to add another. And it's perfect. So a drive there of 82 yards, and they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. He'll do it himself. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs, it'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll try the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. You've got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But great job in the base defense making a play. Here's the handoff. They'll keep this drive moving by picking up the first down. They have it at the 36. This guy's been special today. Coming into this one, they thought they had an opportunity really to get him going, running the football, and he has delivered. You've seen the speed, the vision, his ability to break tackles. Well over 100 rushing yards in this game, and that's why they have a nice lead here late. Looking for a gap. It's White. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. 
it's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Quickly out to the tight end. That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. The Eagles have their offense in high gear. They'll run it from the gun. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Leaves it with the back. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. They've been really good moving the chains on third down. Now one yard away from another first down on this drive. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, them and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Lopez to pass. Grabs it in the middle. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. The Jaguars are in the hurry up. Trying to find his man on first down. He makes a catch. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. And this offense has got to kick it in high gear now. Making a big play, that is great, but we got to go up-tempo. We got to go fast. We're trailing big in this ballgame. We got to put a lot of drives together and maybe even get lucky with an onside kick. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Get a big play like that last one. You flip the field. You change the momentum. Now it's first and 10 from the 38. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Man, those are frustrating because you know you're supposed to catch that. You're supposed to secure it. It's going to happen, but it's just frustrating for those receivers. Just tap the chest. My bad, dog. The incompletion leads to second and ten. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to him. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there. So instead of throwing it away and getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. Lopez wants to fire. Let's it fly deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. 
Well, they take a shot down the field. It's another incompletion. It's really been that kind of story. This defense has made this guy earn it every single play. Really small windows to throw into. One touchdown pass. That's a little bit surprising. You thought maybe they'd have more in this game. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it, and they convert. Touchdown, South Alabama! And they take it in for six more points. Nice job by the offense going down the field, putting points on the board, but you're still down a couple possessions. Still need some good things to happen. You need your kicker to go over there and get warmed up. We need an onside. We need to score some points. We need a lot of things to go right to win this football game. Getting set for the point after. Splits those uprights right in half. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. They're definitely up against it. Time running out, down two possessions. They'll try the onside kick. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this as a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. They'll run it from the gun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. They want that clock to run. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. This is a situation you dreamed of in the backyard, but now it's for real. One last chance late in the game, final drive coming for this offense. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. When you play zone coverage, everybody drops back. Everybody has eyes on the quarterbacks. You're not really looking at the wide receivers a lot of times, so they can slip in those little cracks, and the quarterback can really make precise throws. Great job, great play, great throw, great game. To the line quickly. They'll spike it to save some time. And now on second down for this offense. Lopez to pass. Slips away. Fires downfield. And the freshman just threw it behind him that time. Great job by the QB just avoiding a negative play. I know you don't come away with a big completion, but he should have got sacked. I don't know how he was able to get out of that. Great individual effort by him. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. He's got it. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Defense has to do a better job affecting the quarterback, guys, on money downs. Third down, you've got to be able to affect him, and the pass pro that time was just way too good. And the Jaguars come to the line in the hurry up. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can.
Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. On third down, he drops to throw. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Jaguar. You want to talk about big-time throws. This dude has a missile launcher attached to his shoulder. And he fired that missile in the perfect area. But how about the receiver? you got to go up and make a play, too. Catch the ball with everybody around you. You know where the ball's going, and he's still able to come down with it. What a play. Might not mean much to the game, but the last thing he wants is a missed one on his stat sheet. And they make the extra point, but they still take the five-point L.